Dude, this new fucking Mark Wahlberg movie came out. I got to see it because it's Mark Wahlberg. It's called Infinite, of course. And Ch- Chiwetel Ejiofor is in it. Is that guy? That's that name, huh? That's like one of those names where it's like, oh, here are the letters. You pick it. You you design the name. And like some five-year-old was just like, Chiwetel Ejiofor. You know, like Chad Jacobson was, you could have made Chad Jacobson. <laughs> what? You. Are an infinite. Of course he is. Let's watch this preview. You are an infinite. Wow. It starts with a guy ro- driving a motorcycle off of a fucking cliff. Okay. I'm in, dude. I'm 100% in. You want me to watch a goddamn movie? Start with a guy driving a motorcycle off of a cliff that was obviously in Ireland. And I am in. And, and then go to something quiet, right? A guy just... A guy just kind of sauntering in. Devon McCauley. Diagnosed with schizophrenia. Oh, wow. Uh, so ridiculous. So far, a guy drives off a cliff in a motorcycle. And then the next thing is a guy sauntering into a room with a fucking samurai sword saying to another guy, you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Uh, sir, NYU short film. (laughs) At 14. At 14. After carving the words, look inside. This is the worst. When, when I, dude, this is movies. This movie may be good. I have no idea. I'm just tearing apart this fucking trailer. Dude, movies where a guy tells another guy all about that guy fucking suck it's like vanilla sky at the end of vanilla when the movie was so good and then the end of vanilla sky tom cruise was like what the fuck's going on what the fuck's going on everyone watching the movie's like what the fuck's going on and then he gets stuck in an elevator with some jackass that's like this is what's been going on the whole time and this is what's happening and we're like now it so i could have just watched this scene i could have just watched only this scene you had me watch two hours of this bullshit guessing and some guy was just gonna show up in a suit in an elevator all cramped up and explain it to me That's not cool, dude. I invested time. Don't tell me. I'd rather leave the movie thinking, what the fuck was that all about? Then, oh, that guy said it all. Okay, I get it. Don't spell it out. I got Google. I can look it up later. Don't tell me. Be like David Lynch, dude. David Lynch will just be like, fuck it. I'll put a guy with a big head in it. Your chest with a box cutter. I mean, dude. Inside. Hold on. Inside. Into your chest. He, he, he did. 14. After carving the words, look inside into your chest. Say so, NYU short film. Look inside. Why those words? What's in the script? Which one of these is yours? Look, you could skip the uh, whatever the hell this is. Bro, the, not- again with the fucking ticking clock. I'll decide at what pace I want my fucking palms to get sweaty. Don't add tick ticks because your movie isn't fire. Don't add, don't add the ticks of a clock because your movie isn't hot stepping. You understand? I'll decide when my palms get sweaty. We've already agreed that music could be in it. I don't even get I don't even like that sometimes when the music swells and you're like, okay, here we go. Here come the bad guys. I want the bad guys to come when they come. I don't want to know when the bad guys are coming. I don't want the shit to be telegraphed. I don't want spooky fucking yeah. I don't want that. Don't scare me with sounds. But they got the fucking ticking clock, just like the Karen movie. That's mine. Was it yours? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Jesus! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not... Oh, Jesus! Don't pull a gun on me. Time you say, I don't know. This trigger gets pulled. There's so much easier ways to do this. 
you know, every time you say, I don't know, I pull the trigger to your head. Like, dude, okay, look, hey, relax, okay? I, I want to be in one of these situations in real life so badly. So I can just be like, okay, look, you've seen too many movies. I get it. I've got whatever you think I've got. I, I don't believe I have this. Let's both sit down. There's a coffee bean and tea leaf down the street. We'll go grab a fucking, I like black ice Americano. You might know that. I don't know if you listen to my podcast, but I'll get you whatever you want. And let's hash this out like some fucking gentleman, because you walking in with a fucking sword into this dark, dimly lit room with a bunch of fake fog in it. And you think I don't hear the ticking? You're trying to elicit a response from me and you're not going to get it. Okay. You will get it if we can just sit down and have a good time, dude. Let's talk about stuff, likes and dislikes. Uh, I want to be in one of these situations. Because what would happen, honestly, if you sat down and, the, and, 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 and or you were in this room that you were being kept in and a guy put down three items and he was like, which one of these is yours? And you just go like this. I farted. You'd fuck the guy up. I mean, that that's like a fucking cell phone scrambler. He'd be like, and that's when you flip the table up and you do a fucking uppercut and a spin kick and you're out of there, dude. You grab the machete and you run. Hmm, well, the thing is, I don't really recognize these three things, but the good thing is I farted. <laughs> hmm, none of them are mine, but you know what is? And he says, what? And you look at him and, and, you, and then you just hear, I don't recognize any of these three things. I don't think any of them are mine. But you know it is mine. What? Pinch your nose. Look, I don't know. Are you out of your mind? Yes. Last chance, Evan. Is this yours? He remembers. Hello, old friend. Oh, and they're friends, dude. And then the car fucking breaks through the wall. Oh. Get in. Get in. Of course. Who breaks through a fucking wall in a car, gets out, and doesn't say get in? You could do it to a fucking close to McDonald's at like fucking 1 a.m. I'd still scream get in. Who? Ron, just a fucking... The Ronald McDonald statue. Get in! Just scream into it. Now he's chasing them. I mean, how many walls are they driving through? Oh, let me guess. They go in the air. Yep. They go in the air. See? There we go. On June 10th. A big library with a bunch of books, of course. This isn't your first life, Evan. <laughs> Sir, NYU short film. This isn't your first life, Evan. The guy's name is Evan. Make his name more grand, obviously. Evan, dude. Like, he wears some fucking dockers and a fucking button-down. Which one of these are yours? We have fucking the carnation pink shorts. We have a polo shirt. And then we have some Doc Martens. <laughs> I don't recognize any of these. I will put this cigarette out. On your blonde head. If you do not... I don't know who they are. Ah, oh, what are you fucking crazy? The Dockers aren't mine. Ah, oh, I don't know. You are an infinite. You've lived and died a thousand times. That's not infinite. Talking about reincarnation. Yeah, man. You know. If you can remember. Oh, nice Ferrari. Who you were. Oh my God! If you can remember who you were, what do you think it is at the end? Then you will finally know who you are, or some shit like that. You know. If you can remember who you were, you will now know what you are supposed to be. If you can remember who you were, 
You will. You will know now where you are going. If you can, if you can remember, Evan. <laughs> yeah. You will understand who you, who you can become. Yeah, dude. Of course. You will know who you can become, Evan.